Hey, Sean. Yeah? You left your keys at my place. Oh, jeez, thanks, man. You're welcome. Hey, guys. Welcome to another video. My name is Sean, and this is Free 99 English. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing different ways to say you're welcome. Now, before we jump in, let me start by saying, if you like these videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you smash that notification bell if that's what you're into so that you get notified anytime I drop a new video. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. A like goes a long way. It helps this channel grow and it helps this video reach other English learners. And of course, if you know anybody who's trying to learn English, please feel free to share this video. That being said, let's jump right in. Now, when somebody says thank you, the most standard way to reply is to say, you're welcome. Now, while that is perfectly okay to use, some of you might find that it's a bit formal or even a little bit stiff. So I'm gonna teach you different ways to say you're welcome. We'll start out by using a variation of you're welcome, such as you're very welcome, you're most welcome, you're truly welcome. When you use these terms, it's just an extra way to sound more polite and courteous. Now let's say you're at the supermarket and you come across one of those sampling stations. You know, those little tiny food bits that they let you taste test. Kind of a guinea pig type thing. Anyways, they're trying to sell stuff, so. Uh, yes, hello. Would you like to try one of our finest chocolate desserts? Why, yes, I would love to. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, sir. Now the next one is, I know you would do the same for me. What you're trying to express to the person is if the roles were reversed, your friend would be there for you just like you are now for them. Let's say your friend's bike has broken down and they don't know how to fix it. But of course, you're a handyman and you can fix anything. You're just like MacGyver. Man, thank you so much for helping. Uh, I know you would do the same for me. The next one is, it was the least I could do, or it is the least I can do. Now, it's a bit wordy again, but you're trying to express to the person that it took no extra effort to help. It's typically used when you feel obligated to help. Thanks again for helping me clean the dishes. You threw a great party last night and we have made a mess of your house. It's the least I can do. And the next one is, uh-huh. Now it's perfectly okay to use this one, but it can kind of come off sounding rude. And sometimes you want it to be rude when you use it. Now let's say your friend calls you up because he needs help moving his fridge. He knows you have a truck. He's using you for your truck. That's upsetting. Hey bro, you want to come over and help me move my fridge? <sighs> yeah. I'll come over and help you move your fridge. Thanks a million, bro. Uh-huh. And the next one is, my pleasure. Or you can say, it is my pleasure. It's my pleasure. It was my pleasure. It was a pleasure. The pleasure is all mine. Wow, that's a lot of ways to say this one, but they all mean the same thing. They mean that they bring you joy or happiness to help out. And let's say it's the middle of autumn and it's very cold. <sighs> you should be dressing warm in this weather. You come across a homeless man and he doesn't have a sweater or a jacket on. So you decide to help out. Oh, you must be freezing. Please take my sweater. I insist. Wow. Really, sir? You're so kind. Thank you. It was my pleasure to help out. And the next one is something you might hear quite a bit. And it is, no worries. What you're trying to tell the person is, is that they shouldn't worry about the fact that you helped them out. So let's say you're at work and it's break time. Yes, thank God. But your colleague is too busy and has to stay back and can't take the break. That really sucks. 
So, you decide you want to help out. No, 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 no. Hey, I noticed that you're really busy with work. I was going on my break anyways, heading to Tim Hortons. Thought I'd pick you up a coffee. Oh, that's just what I needed. Cheers, mate. No worries. And the next one is, no, thank you. Now, yes, it sounds a bit strange to answer thank you with thank you, but it's all about the importance of how you stress your thank you. So you say it like, no, thank you. Now this is usually used when the outcome of the situation is beneficial to both you and the other person. So you feel as though that you actually got something out of this by helping them. Now in this situation, let's say your friend needs a drive to work desperately and they say to you that they're willing to buy you a coffee if you drive them. Oh man, I'm gonna be late for work. I really need a drive. Please, can you help me out? Yeah, man, I got no problem with that. Got my keys right here. Oh, you're a legend. Thank you. No. Thank you. Now these next ones, I'm gonna lump them all together because they're pretty much the same thing. That's okay. That's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's no bother. It's no biggie. It's no big deal. No problem. No problemo. No prob. Don't mention it. It was nothing. It is nothing. Don't sweat it. Basically, every single one of these means a thank you is not needed. Now, let's say you're in class and clumsy you, you drop your pen on the floor and it rolls next to your other classmate. It's more easy for him to pick it up than it is for you. So he does the right thing and helps you out. Oh, let me get that for you. Here you go. Oh, thank you. No problem. All right, guys, that is different ways to say you're welcome. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please hit that like button. If you want to check out more, I got some more videos over here. I'll see you over in the next video. Peace.